Hello guys. I know I'm still in the same outfit. Welcome back. Well, I'm gonna say welcome back just in case I make this a separate video and not a and not put it all together with one video because yeah um i don't want the videos to be too too long and i just want to throw out little topics whatever and talk about them of course in the future i'm gonna get more in depth about some of the stuff that i talk about but for now yeah i finally got my coffee i know y'all probably tired of seeing this coffee mug but it's my favorite one because of the cap and it keeps my drink warmer like sometimes i forget that i've made my coffee especially dealing with nose crazy behind um so yeah. Woo! I had a whole entire morning routine that I was originally gonna do today, but like I told you guys in the last one of me sitting right here, uh wearing the same exact thing. Um Brie is actually sick with a little stomach bug. Ooh. Sorry, I'm kinda holding my phone and stuff too. I had it sitting here, but I might be a little off. It was fine until I started filming. <laughs> but uh, I just have to write down a couple of things. Sorry if you if I'm like off a little bit. I know that could be very, very annoying. That's kind of why I was holding it too. Um, There's a couple of things that I really have to run and go get. One, because she's not feeling well. So I want to make sure I have some stuff. Like little things to try to get her to eat. My bad, y'all. I'm really sorry. Hold on one second. Mm, let me just move back a little bit. But uh, I I still want to do Christmas cookies, so I'm gonna write that down. I need to get my stuff for that. Um, we have our gingerbread houses. I uh, we probably have to wait till Sunday to do that because on Saturday me and Kylie have a holiday party to go to, and if I go get my hair done Saturday morning, it's probably gonna take the entire morning. So, uh. But we have all that stuff sitting right next to me. And then um, we having a pajama party. So I just want to, I'm going to make it a little bit extra special since she missed her pajama party. And then uh, wrapping gifts, I'm legit, I beg my mom because I'm telling y'all, I'm over it. To me, really, everything could just go in a bag. But I know that's not fun for the kids. Um, but yeah. We have so much going on, especially not because we're waiting for the new year. It's just that because of the holidays, I want to try to relax on talking about our goals. But we have been putting stuff in place. Like, we know exactly what we're going to do after the first few weeks of, of the new year. And making sure that getting us mentally ready to handle that. So, we're just trying to have fun for right now. You guys know we really want to get our own place. I've been speaking with a lot of you guys who are actually in the area. And it's funny. We all talk about the same thing. We don't know if like, if it's smart to go to Jersey. If it's smart to go a little bit further out and go to PA. It is so inexpensive in Pennsylvania. And they actually have a lot of great schools. But I'm not, I'm not even the slightest bit familiar. I just, oh my God. The homes are so beautiful. But, I mean, we really have to narrow it down because me and Kyle, neither one of us ever been on our own. Crazy. Like, we have two kids. We've been together for nine years. And we've never been on our own. So, we, it's really tough, y'all. Like, we don't know what to do. There's some people who have been on their own and they don't know what to do. Um, But, yeah, we do have a lot going on. We still, man, guys, I really wish we were planning our wedding. But I know the best part about it is... You guys are going to be able to come along with us for everything. So I'm trying to not be like so down about it. And at this point, even though I, I think we know what we want, we just have to really put our minds to it and actually get to that plan. But yeah, I mean, I honestly, all right, our marriage is not about the wedding. I know that. I Like, I know that. But, I mean, guys, we had kids at a young age. We stayed together. You know, the full, the whole bone spill. And I feel like we deserve the wedding that we want. And also, in our family, there I don't even know when was the last big wedding. Like, of course, family, friends, and stuff like that, they've had full-blown weddings. But, um, 
No, I can't think of the last. I think the last one was like my uncle. <laughs> and I don't even think I was around for that. <laughs> so it is a big deal. Like, so yeah. Um, it's a big deal to us, guys. And we really want to celebrate it. And we want to do the thing that we want. And I know the guest list, I'm going to be honest. I, we've cut down. We've cut down. But there's some people, I, it's not, to me, they have to be there. Even on his end, there's people in his family that I feel like should be there. And he cut down just because he didn't think that they should, that they would, could make it. But that's not your call. Well, it is your call, but it's not. Like, it's not fair to me. I Like, some of my friends would tell me that you can't assume that I'm not going to do something or be around just because you think that you're being a burden. You shouldn't feel like a burden on your own wedding so yeah i just want to talk to you guys because brie i'm trying to i got her eating a uh, a little orange i don't know if that's okay or not but i feel like if she wants to eat something i'm gonna let her because she is home and she's gonna be home for the next couple of weeks so we can just ride this out it's been a while since she had one of these little uh episodes so we'll see we'll see this coffee is super duper hot, but it's so good. I told you guys how I make my coffee. It's the Folgers Coffee House, and I put it on dark roast. When I put it on bold on the coffee maker, and then whatever. I just do one scoop. I have this coffee scooper, which I, we need to get some more, because I don't know what I would ever do without it, especially when I get my own place, because that technically is my mom's. So, yeah. But we would love some advice. I was thinking, because um, some advice we get is just put the money away, like save money, and then when you get a place, then you buy stuff, even like the little things. But I feel like there's some stuff that we should be buying and putting away, at like especially like the the a regular kitchen stuff. Like on the first night, you need a pot, uh, plates, forks, knives, like you know the basics. Um, and I also feel like we should be putting away the cleaning supplies like you know when you first go into a place and you like sanitize the whole entire place I really feel like we should be stocking up on that stuff and just putting it away because you never know what could happen there's some areas that we did look into that do have apartments available now um but so they have apartments available now and they want like a media moving. So if we did go there in like January or something like that, we would have to have that stuff. So I don't know. And then I still have to think about the school year is coming. But we would love some advice, guys. You guys, you don't understand the positivity that um that's in our comments and the things that you guys speak to us about. Are you okay? You don't want no more? All right, I'm going to make you some water. How much of it did you eat? It was just a piece? Two pieces? All right. Oh, that's better. That's oh, that's okay, Mommy. Go lay down and stuff, and then after everything is ready, we're going to head back upstairs, okay? All right, I love you. She's doing better. She's not running a fever or anything, which I'm pretty shocked. Usually she runs a fever and stuff. So, I honestly think it was just the excessive amount of cheese that she had yesterday. Which is honestly my fault. I should have known better. But, it is what it is. She's gonna, she's gonna power through it. But yeah, please give us any tips you guys may have. Because I'm willing to take them. And let me cut this one short. I'm probably gonna have a couple of these today. Of sprouts of me not, because you know, she's sick. Noah's chilling. I'm not, I'm gonna, I have a couple of things to do today, but I'm not gonna get too crazy because I want to be there. I want to make sure she's all right. So, regular mom stuff. So, be prepared to see this outfit and probably this setup in like a few videos. My bad, y'all. But it's still concept for you guys, no matter how you get it. Let me know if you don't appreciate that and you're like, no, that's unacceptable. So, if that's the case, trust me. Well, I wouldn't say I would not completely do it because there might be times. But, yeah, I don't need to stop doing it. Now I wonder where Brie gets that from because she's been doing that a lot lately and it's probably because I'm always doing it. I need to stop. Man, that's like a whole nother topic, like doing things in front of your kids and then 
you don't notice what you do until you see your kids doing it. And then it's like you tell them to stop, but you have to physically stop. Another topic. Let me know in the comments. We can chat about that. We can talk. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys for real, for real. Here comes the other nut over here. Say bye-bye. They can't see you. You gotta come over here. Say bye. Peace, y'all. Bye. Bye.